But one space that has been doing pretty well is real estate. Brigade Enterprises is in focus. The company reported a decent Q3 numbers. The sales value gained by 56% year on year and the realization surged by 36%. The stock has gained 100% in the last one year. To discuss the demand trends, we have Pavitra Shankar, the MD of Brigade Enterprises, who joins us now. Pavitra, always great speaking to you on the channel and thank you for taking the time out. I wanted to start by understanding what Q4 is looking like so far. What kind of traction are you seeing? And, uh, you know, what's the outlook on bookings by the end of FY24? Where do you think the company will be? Hi, good morning. Thanks uh, for having me. Uh, Traction is looking really great. Uh, we launched a, a large project at the end of last quarter, uh, 2 million square feet that was doing really well. Uh, actually, we launched almost uh, 2.7 million square feet last year. We are on track to launch uh, another two and a half or so this quarter. And uh, I think we are going to show uh, some pretty good numbers by the end of this quarter. While we are not going to be able to give guidance, I think the trend on ground is very good demand from end users users as well as investors in uh, um, apartments as well as plotted projects across our target markets of Bangalore, Chennai and Hyderabad. So it makes us confident that uh, we can continue to invest in land and look at new projects and uh, continue to put our launches as quickly uh, out there as possible. Uh, I think the market is looking very good for the short to medium term and we should take uh, as, an, as much advantage of it as possible right now. Are you going to take advantage of uh, the upbeat market with uh, further increases in pricing or realization improvement? Your nine-month realization for residential is up 36% and is now close to 9,000 rupees per square feet. In FI25, yeah, so for instance, yeah. Yeah, so the realization is a combination of the projects that we've just launched. So the project mm -hmm. that we launched last quarter uh, was at a substantially higher price realization than uh, some of the portfolio that was on uh, that is currently being marketed. So therefore, it showed a higher realization. And uh, every quarter, that will be the case. So this quarter, as we're launching a plotted project, we may see a slight dip in those numbers. So it's very reflective overall of the quarter uh, launches that have happened. But that said, if I look at a nine-month Months comparison to the prior financial year, we still see a 20% increase. And I think that's reflective of the overall sentiment for the real estate segment. Uh, while uh, Brigade per se has also increased pricing, I think it is reflective of the market as a whole in the residential sector. And I would say Bangalore is a huge part of that. Bangalore up to a couple of years ago, I would say you could very easily find something between 6,000 to 6,500 rupees a foot, which in my mind was completely undervalued as a market. Market. So uh, given where the city stands in terms of an economy and an employment center. So I think there's a correction there for Bangalore that was long overdue. But in general, the residential market is extremely healthy and allowing us to take up pricing. That said, in future, I don't know if we can continue to expect, you know, 20 to 30 percent increases. Those are pretty hefty. Mm. Well, Mr. Hi, good morning. <clears throat> you know, <laughs> one of the things I've heard from uh, uh, from from sort of you know relatives and uh, a lot of family in Bangalore is that the houses of, the new houses have all become not not brigade but otherwise generally uh, houses have all become smaller but the rates have all gone up. <laughs> That's kind of a... actually on average I think houses have also gone up larger uh, in terms of uh, floor plans and uh, demand from customers tends to be looking for that extra bedroom which is still I think the effect post COVID and uh, even in our portfolio we seem to be launching slightly larger units so uh, that's anecdotal maybe uh, I think overall uh, unit sizes are increasing. I think that's the case not just with Bangalore, right? <laughs> Throughout the country. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a big problem we're facing in metros. But uh, talking about metros, a lot of your peers have now entered the Mumbai market and there's so much happening in Mumbai with the connectivity going up, with, you know, the trans harbouring, the Mumbai metro, coastal road, etc. At any point, either in this financial year or next, would you look to enter Mumbai? No, definitely not. Our plan is to uh, continue our focus on Bangalore, Chennai and Hyderabad. I think over the last two years, we've added significantly to our Chennai land bank. And that's a market we feel very confident about, although we do feel it is over looked by many uh, in the segment. So I think Chennai is a stronghold for us. Hyderabad also is an area of focus. Our strategy is that uh, these three markets can afford us as much growth as Bangalore. Uh, and that, uh, you know, is something that we want to focus on, not just from a residential perspective, but also office, retail and hotel. Since we are a multi-domain company, uh, the same investment that we make in, in land banks, in uh, partnering within, uh, with uh, landowners, with uh, licensing and so on, it's important 
important for us to make use of those uh, networks that we're doing and go deeper into the markets rather than do multiple projects uh, or maybe one-off projects across different markets. But that said, that's all naturally Mumbai, NCR, these are all very large markets. It's something we will always keep an eye on, but in the short to near term uh, and actually medium term, our focus is to uh, remain in the South. Mm. What about hospitality? Despite Q3 being a seasonally strong quarter, a pickup in your occupancy to 73%, the top line growth has been in single digits, 8%. Going ahead, do you think hospitality, you could look at it, you know, the hospitality segment could see a double digit revenue growth? Yeah, we are pushing uh, on that front. You know, I think it's always a balance of uh, ARRs as well as occupancy. Uh, the hotel segment has done well. Hospitality, if I look at a year-over-year -year, uh, performance, it has done extremely well. So it could just be a bit of uh, seasonality and specific reasons why. Uh, but we're very confident about the hotel segment as well. Uh, I think the amount of domestic travel uh, that is really supporting all of our business hotels is excellent. Uh, we are also planning to invest further in the hotel sector, uh, we have about, currently we have just under 1,500 keys under operation and uh, we are looking to add another 1,000 keys to that over the next uh, 18 to 24 months. Okay, so you're adding another 1,000 keys to your hotel segment and currently you have 1,500 keys under operation, got that. Will there be any fresh investments that you're looking to make, uh, any kind of debt that you'd want to take on for this kind of expansion that you're looking at both in, ho in the hotel as well as in the residential space? Yeah, so in the residential sector, so far, we've not really uh, required to take on debt. Instead, uh, we've been paying off the residential debt. Today, we're pretty much at a, at a zero debt level for the residential sector. On the hotel sector and, I guess, office, like anytime you're investing into these uh, longer-term uh, assets that have a longer life where you're leasing up and uh, operating them, we are going to need to use debt for that. And we're comfortable at the debt levels that we are today. We will also use a mix of internal accruals from uh, the cash that is getting thrown off from the residential sector. So as of today, our uh, debt equity ratio is, is 0.69 uh, and we're quite comfortable at the level of debt that we have. Also knowing that we will need to take on more debt to uh, support the growth of the portfolio. But we have always done that in a fairly conservative way. Uh, even our uh, uh, the, the interest rates that we pay have gone up naturally along with the repo rate but have not uh, grown as much as uh, others have seen. So I think overall, we have a pretty conservative approach towards debt, recognizing that you need it for growth, but also taking it in the right way. All right, uh, <clears throat> Pavitra, we'll leave it there. Great conversation as always, and uh, good to hear you uh, on CNBC Thank TV you. 18. Thank you very much. Uh,